Hello, and welcome to my bed. Oh, this is not gonna work very well. This video is an unplanned and an impromptu video. A few things have happened recently and they are going to affect what is happening coming up. So basically, a few days ago I started feeling sick and two, a day ago, yesterday? I don't even know the dates blur together. Uh, I got a positive COVID test result, so, and I'm definitely feeling the symptoms. So, <laughs> that is why we are in my bed. Because I am quarantining in my room. Um, with my husband who also has shown symptoms and while he didn't get tested we are assuming he has it because I tested positive and he's showing the same symptoms and we just don't want to risk him going out to get a test. Because of this there will be a lot of breaks for coughing so if editing is weird it's because I'm coughing. I, I feel some days I feel like I have some amount of energy that I could film. Um, but because we're quarantining in my bedroom, I don't really have a lot of my books. And I also don't want to push myself too hard because I want to take it as easy as I can. But that all being said, I don't know if I'm going to be posting videos in the next two weeks, which is such a bummer because the, the next two weeks were going to be the weeks that I started pre-filming all the videos that were going to go up while I was back home in Michigan so that I wouldn't have to deal with figuring out lighting and backgrounds and bringing enough books home with me to be shown in videos. I was going to start doing all that this week, um, but that's not going to happen anymore. So hopefully, theoretically, once my two weeks are up, I should still have a few days before I go home, so I will try and film as much as possible because not only was I planning on filming, not only was I planning on like regularly filming two videos a week and then also pre-filming uh, for the four weeks that I'm home-ish. I also had a bunch of extra videos planned of just being like, hey, there's a lot of content that could be made around this time of year and I knew I would have fun making it so I was gonna start doing three plus videos a week just for the season. So we shall see. I, I will try and pre-film as much as possible, but there might just have to be some videos filmed at home because uh, I won't have the energy to film more than one video at a time if I have the energy to film one at all. That's kind of the biggest thing. Uh, I My computer is going off, but that's because I've been watching booktube all day. I've finally been able to catch up, so when I get notifications of people that I've subscribed to releasing videos, my instinct is to just put them on my watch later uh, because a lot of times I am at work or I'm busy and I can't watch them in that moment but I'm afraid that the notification will get accidentally swiped away or something. Um, so that has led me to have, I think I started off the day with like 120 uh, videos on my watch later and I am down to 91. However, the first 58 videos of that are not bookish related or videos that I'm not taking off for one reason or another. Um, but yeah, I have been watching booktube videos all day, catching up on other people's videos and uh, commenting and just having a lot of fun with that. I will not be making too much content, so if this is the only thing to go up in two weeks, you know why. I'm not disappearing. I'm not taking an extensive break. I just, I caught COVID. So that was a, it was a disappointment. And I am fully vaccinated. I was actually just planning on getting a booster and then all of a sudden I got it. So I was, I was pretty sad about that. But I do have some bookish updates for you. I'm currently reading The Nature of Witches and I'm almost done. If I continue to have enough energy today, I might try and finish reading it. Um, that was the other thing. It was like catching COVID and being home for two weeks could mean a lot of reading gets done or it could mean just a lot of like 
TV and YouTube watching gets done. It really just depends on my energy levels because a lot of times I'll wake up and I will feel terrible and then it will hit like one or two o'clock and my fever will like kick in, give me like a hot flash. And then once that subsides, I will be up and about doing things in the room. So <laughs> I could be reading a lot or I could read absolutely nothing. We will have to see. Um, but other bookish updates include I got this little mini bookshelf um, for our bedroom. We got this pre-COVID. <laughs> so pre-COVID is a pretty positive test result um, because I just needed a little bit more storage space in our bedroom. So I decided that um, half of it was going to be for fuzzy socks and sweaters and the other half was going to be for books. And what I've decided to do is and also if like the angling is weird or whatever it's because i have the tripod balanced on like books and planners on my bed that was the best you were gonna get from me i'm sorry anyway so what i'm thinking is going to be my system is the the shelf that i have on this new bookshelf here in the bedroom is going to be full of books that i haven't read yet um preferably ones that i want to read soon so that when I do read them and I finish them, I can put them back on the main shelf and take more books from the main shelves that I haven't read and put them on this shelf. So it's just to give me a little bit, because I was running out of space on my shelves. I was running out of space on my shelves, but I didn't have any more space for a bookshelf in the living room with all the other ones. So we found space in the bedroom for it. And even still, I don't really have that much room, but I could always remove some sweaters and fuzzy socks and put more books there. But the idea is that once I kind of get my physical TBR under control a little bit, theoretically, I would love it to be where only books on this shelf in the bedroom, those are only TBR books. And everything else in the living rooms, so everything you see in my background and around me, are all books that I have read. Um, and so then whenever I buy a new book, that'll just go straight into the bedroom where I can read them and then they can make their way onto the main shelf. That does not solve my issue of storage though because what I don't have enough space for are books that I have read. But I'm going to deal with that later. Because one of the smaller shelf out in the living room that is a mixture of books I have read and books I haven't read and I'm not allowing for me to stack books on that shelf unless I haven't read them. So as soon as that shelf is full of books that I have read, I will stack them and then I can have a little bit more space. I know it probably does not make sense what I'm saying right now, either A because I'm sick or B you don't really have the visuals to help. Um, but yeah, just know I got a new bookshelf, I have a plan, I'm excited. But yeah, I still definitely want to try and release all the videos that I had planned for December. They just might be all cramped together, or they might not be in front of my bookshelves. I, I, even if I have the energy to film, I feel like I shouldn't just because I don't think the quality will be that good because I sound sick. I look sick. Um, that's just how it is. Um, so I might have to deal with filming at my parents' house, which isn't the worst, but it's not easy. Because um, the room that we stay in doesn't have any light, so it's hard to film in there. And then everywhere else in the house, I just feel like there's not a good background. But yeah, so this is, was just a short video of I got a new bookshelf and I have COVID. But like I said, I have I have haul videos coming up, I have an unhaul video coming up, I have tags and I have recommendations and I have all these videos that I want to do, all these plans that I'm excited for. I just can't do them in the next couple weeks like I was hoping to. So I, I ask for your patience and Hopefully I can shake this pretty soon, um, but we'll see. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if any of the videos that I mentioned coming up sound interesting, subscribe, but I also understand that this is not the most exciting video. There's almost a little part of me 
that kind of wants to do a quarantine reading vlog <laughs> of just if I actually end up reading while I am quarantine sick with COVID, um, then I think that would be an interesting vlog because I have all the time in the world, but I don't have all the energy in the world. So I'm currently reading The Nature of Witches. I know I said that, but I'm also listening to the audiobook, uh, The Prisoner's Wife. Um, so for when I don't have energy to do anything, I can just lay down and listen to the audiobook. But for moments like this where I have more energy, I can actually uh, physically read. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that reading vlog. I'll do an intro for it like right now. And we'll see over the next couple days if that actually goes anywhere. And then maybe I can I can still post that in the next two weeks because it'll it'll be okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. Good luck. Stay safe. Please wear masks. And please social distance. If you're not vaccinated and you can get vaccinated, please just do so. Because even vaccinated people can still catch it. Um, but yeah, I wish you all the best. And until I see you in the next one. Happy reading.